Hi, I'm Gary McCarthy, Mayor of the City of Schenectady. Schenectady's Smart City Commission, which I appointed recently, is a group of unique individuals who are taking emerging technologies and positioning Schenectady to utilize them to improve the quality of life within our community, address public safety needs, and help us improve the delivery of services. We're putting in place data-driven policies that will allow myself, our city council, and other community leaders to make decisions that are factually based and are going to produce long-term sustainable results for our city. The team at the Center for Technology and Government at the University at Albany has long worked with cities to find solutions to new pressing public problems. We've worked with mayors like Schenectady's Gary McCarthy to understand these problems and to create new and very often collaborative solutions. One of these most critical problems facing cities today is urban blight. Cities like Schenectady are committed to a new future, but challenged in their efforts to combat blight. Schenectady's roadmap provides a vision and a way to measure progress against this goal, but the systems in place make it difficult to make that progress. Many urban blight interventions rely on code enforcement data. The city of Schenectady is focused on this issue internally, but it is also playing a role regionally in bringing together a group of cities who share their concerns. Urban blight is a deep-seated problem that crosses many boundaries, and Schenectady's collaborative approach to solving a shared problem is providing a model for other cities to follow. One thing TransFounder has been excited about is working with the city of Schenectady. Hello, my name is Antonio Civitella, President and CEO of TransFounder. We are a routing logistic software company located here in downtown Schenectady. During the past three decades, our Intelligent Transportation System, or ITS, has focused on serving schools, adult care, and municipalities. For example, the city of Schenectady monitors the health of their fleet in real time while providing visibility to the community. Together, we are focusing our efforts on utilizing the Smart City Advisory Commission's roadmap for future planning and decision making. The use of data analytic tools mixed with public and private sector partnerships allow the city to make better, more informed decisions that directly impacts the community. So Open 311 is a way to connect citizens to the city services that Schenectady provides. There's great employees in the city that have great services, but they don't always know where to go or where the issues are. At the same time, citizens see a lot of issues, things that they need corrected, and don't know who to talk to or who to call or how to get it done. Or when they do call and suggest something, they don't get feedback as to what happened. So by using technology like Open 311, we can connect the citizens with the city services uh, it helps us be more efficient with what we get done, we provide better services, the citizens are more engaged, they feel as though they're a more active part, uh, and we can use the data to find out where the real issues are and make it a better place to live and work. The fact that it's a community-based effort kind of shows you that we're going to have to look across uh, both business, education, and government entities. We started with the local government to find the right points of contact and stakeholders to you know, connect us with the right, right folks, the right systems integrators, and then we reached out to universities to help foster young talent and people that are already active in the community to build the mobile apps that will be really the, the, the face of Open 311. We're going to use G, GE and our business uh, knowledge and our workflow knowledge with respect to integrating back-end systems to help the city achieve you know, that total system integration that's going to give them you know what I'll call seamless communication between you know someone walking down the street submitting an issue to the person that's actually going to correct the issue on the city side. Hi, I'm John Coluccio, the Signal Superintendent for the City of Schenectady. One of my duties is to oversee the operation and maintenance of all the street lighting in the city. We're out here on J Street where we've undertaken a smart lighting and video pilot project with LED Wi-Fi interconnected lights. There are a number of advantages and possibilities with smart lighting. The first and largest advantage is the energy savings from a conversion to LED lighting. 
we've estimated over $370,000 annually in pure energy savings costs citywide with smart lighting conversion along with motion detection. Other benefits include reduced greenhouse gases, lower maintenance costs, quicker responses to failures by automated reporting, adjustable and more uniform lighting levels, as well as improved perception from drivers and pedestrians. Hi, my name is Jack Falvo. I'm an assistant chief of police here in the city of Schenectady. We have a DDAX program, which is essentially a crime analysis program and it stands for Data Driven Approach to Crime and Traffic Safety. The Smart City program is currently helping us with our in-car video system in all our police vehicles. Because of the antennas that they have placed on light poles here in the downtown sector of the, of the city, it's helped us download our in-car video system wireless. So collectively, because of the DDAX program, the GIVE grant, the in-car video system, because of the Smart City program here in the city, through the crime analysis and the traffic analysis has helped us reduce our crime by an average of 25%. Hi, I'm Rudy Grants, and this is David Siders. We are co-owners of Experience and Creative Design on Lower Union Street in Schenectady, New York. We, are, we became involved with the Smart City several months ago when the committee was put together. Well, the mayor actually came to us and told us about what the city was planning to do. The new street lights that are gonna be a test model uh, for here on Lower Union Street. We love the whole idea. We love the idea of thinking that security and things happening in our building will actually be monitored through these street lights. Uh, for instance, our street uh, or the front of our store has lots of large show windows. And I think it's very exciting that the new streetscape um, lighting system and things will also enhance the beauty of our store and watch over us and also give security for our customers, patrons, as they are able to walk up and down the streets and look at our beautiful show window. But I can't wait for the whole city to be able to be this way. And I think with all the Wi-Fi and the wonderful lighting systems that they're putting in that will be able to watch the intersections and things like that for accidents, I think it's very exciting for new and upcoming young people to move in to our community that um, need that type of security and need all that information at their fingertips. Three months ago, Mayor Gary McCarthy started the Schenectady Smart City Commission. We've been busy ever since. We've met multiple times. We've engaged deeply with vendors to learn their capabilities and their desires to do something very exciting in Schenectady. We've reached out to external groups like the Intelligent Communities Forum to learn what's worked well and what's failed in other cities. And we've done a number of things to build a roadmap for Schenectady to make it a very livable city and a very productive government. Yet we have a lot of work still to do. We have to build discrete plans. We have to get the resources in place to fill out our dreams to make Schenectady a smart, great, livable city.